Hey guys, so a quick tutorial that people have been asking for is how to play Last Day on Earth on PC or computer. I've been getting thousands of questions and comments on every of my video, live stream, whatever it is. It's just the same question, how to play Last Day on Earth or any other mobile game on PC. It's the same. Last Day on Earth is a mobile game. You can play any mobile games on your computer. What do you need to know before you try to do this though? If you have an Android device, congratulations, you can play the game also on your PC. So you can play it on mobile, which is your phone and also computer. If you have an iOS device, iPhone 7, iPhone 10, whatever it is, I'm sorry, but you cannot play and cross-platform to PC or Nox player. So if you have an iOS device, guys, you can turn this video off or just get an Android phone, you know? So the first step you have to do is download Nox player. Nox Player is an emulator for your computer. You will be able to play any mobile games on Nox Player. Reason why I'm choosing Nox Player is it's simple, not complicated to use, and you can set a lot of shortcuts and keybinds on it. Also, there's a lot of buttons on the side of Nox Player that you can easily just access. Other emulators that look like Nox Player are just ripoffs. Anyways, this program, guys, is free and safe. Don't worry, it's not a virus. I've been using Nox Player for three years now, or even more, and I've never had any problems with it. So download Nox Player 6.2.2.0. The link is in the description. And don't forget that if I make a tutorial and there are download links included, it will always be in my description. So once you download Nox Player, open it up, set up your Gmail and so on. Now before you screw up or lose your account, this is what you have to do. Log in on your last day of account and make sure your account is connected to your Gmail account. To do this, just go on the settings menu in last day on earth. Then if this button says disconnect, it means you're good to go and you're connected. If it says connect, that means that you're not connected. So if it does say connect, press the button, make sure you connect your Gmail account. And after it's connected, you can then log in with the Gmail on Nox player and the one that's connected on your phone to last day on earth. And then after it's connected, you can then log in with the Gmail on Nox player the one that's connected on your phone to Last Day on Earth. Now once you connect, this is what you do next. You download Last Day on Earth from the Play Store and then open up the game. It will ask you to just log into your Google account, do that, and then you will need to restore your progress. Restore the progress and then your account should be there in Nox Player. Now there's a little downside if you play both Nox Player and Mobile. Sometimes your game can roll back to a specific point in Nox Player if you play on mobile and if you play on mobile you can roll back on Nox player so be aware this is kefir's bug and that's their problem and they have to fix it i'm not sure when they will fix it so just keep in mind that this bug exists now you might think why is my game blurry or why is it laggy go to the settings icon on Nox, which is here go to the advanced settings and set your frame rates from 30 to 60 if that's 60 already that's great now you want to also change opengl to direct x change your resolution to the highest. And that's about it. If you want to change RAM and cores, that's a really advanced thing. You need to enable virtual technology settings in your BIOS. I'm not going to explain how to do that in this video. I will just show you how to play Last Day on Earth on PC and set up keybinds. Now the keybinds and the movement, how to actually move, open boxes, kill zombies and so on. Simple, there's a keyboard icon on the right bar of your Nox player. Click this and then set up your keybinds however you like. That's it. When you're done, you're set and ready to play. And if you want to play in full screen mode, just press Ctrl and 5 at the same time. And then Nox player will go full screen mode, or you can also just click the button which is right over here. Thanks for watching guys. If you have any questions, make sure to leave it in the comment section. I will help you out and answer you. Goodbye.